Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper. I'm here for Alter New today and I've got this Majestic Bloom set and it is stunning. I just love the open feel of this flower. But for today's video, I wanted to color it a little bit differently than I normally would. So what I've decided to do is create an almost one layer card and I'm starting off by stamping out the base or the solid image in the coral berry and then stamping over that with my jet black ink just to get the outline and this is where it all starts to go just a little bit pear shaped I didn't have my best stamping day today and you guys all know that feeling I'm sure so you can see there's a little patch there in one of the solid areas that is um, not stamped properly but that's okay because I can actually use a pencil. I'm not too worried about that because I can use a pencil to color that in afterwards. But what is annoying me is there's an area at the top of the right hand flower that I, I moved the outline stamp as I was stamping it. So it's all smudged and pretty ordinary. And on the other one, I didn't stamp right over that one correctly either. And to be honest, I probably should have just ditched the card and started again. But for some reason, I didn't feel like doing that and I thought I'd try and save it. So what I'm doing here, instead of adding the layers of color with the stamp layering stamps, I'm actually using my pencils to add color and depth. So I'm using Polychromos pencils, which is probably another poor decision on my part because I'm not very used to these pencils yet and I'm trying to treat them like Prismacolor. And they are very, very similar, but um, probably a little bit less forgiving in that they are not quite as soft as the wax base because they're an oil-based pencil. So I'm not very confident with them yet. And I think I was, I felt like I was pressing them just a little bit too hard to get my color down. And I, but that's the whole thing. They're fairly new to me. And I mean, I've had them for years, but not used them a lot. Cause once I went to my Prismas, I kind of stuck with those. So, um, once I lightened up, lightened up, uh, my pencil, like when I was coloring, I found I did a whole lot better. So I wanted a, sort of an orange glow throughout the flower as well as adding some depth with a, a deeper pink sort of ready color. Uh, the leaf image I decided just to color with pencils alone. So I'm just going to finish coloring right now and I'll be back shortly when all that's done. So next I'm going to work on my sentiment and I've got a piece of the cherry cut wood cardstock and I'm stamping out the painted greetings in some black ink and then this is going to be the only um, part of my card that really pops up so I'm just trying to work out here how I want it to look and I needed to add a little bit more black I thought to the card so what I've done is I've got a piece of the black cardstock the jet black cardstock from Alta New and I'm adding a little piece of that so that it's going to pop out the bottom of the sentiment along the base of it using some score tape to hold that in place because the um, I wasn't sure how well the wood veneer would hold up against 
um, with the other tapes so I thought I'd use a nice strong one. Then I've also added some black fun foam to the back of this, cut it down just a little bit and then I'm going to add it over the top of my, I was going to use another word, but poor stamping um, there and that's covering up one of my mistakes or one of the areas that I'm not happy with in the card. And this is how I decided, because I went away <laughs> and I came back. This is, I think, the next day. And I came back and this is how I decided to sort of cover up the fact that my stamping was a little bit off, especially on this flower here. It just had sort of a pink edge in some of the places. So what I did was literally just use a grey pencil and add a light shadow around the whole image. I also used a pink pencil that's the same colour as the coral berry and filled in any sort of white gaps. And then I came in with a black pencil at the very end just to add a little bit more depth with the shading. And I think, you know, like in retrospect, I probably should have just started the card again, but I'd committed by this stage and I think it worked out okay. I made some Nouveau glossy black dots and I couldn't even pick these up <laughs> today. I kept dropping them in the glue, but they seemed to wipe off fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I've added three of those around the actual sentiment and again, dropped it again. I, I really was struggling, wasn't I, with this card? Some cards are just like that. And sometimes I do give up, but mostly I do persevere. I'm one of those people. <laughs> and that's my finished card for today. Thanks for joining me. I'm really happy to have this card completed and I hope you like it. I'll be back again real soon. Till next time. Happy paper crafting. Bye.